Welcome to the 210 Nerds. As always, my name is Max James. It is day four of the 31 Days of Fright Horror Movie Project Year 3. And it's October 4th, 2014. And the horror movie of the day is Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. Uh, this movie is so much fun to watch. It is very... Even though it isn't an Evil Dead movie, there is just so many Evil Dead um, aspects to it. It's... Great, and if you've ever seen a Sam Raimi movie, it has he has, does these points where it's very hyper, fast-paced um, horror, and it's really great, and I really like that about his movies. Um, but enough of those kind of movies. I'm going to jump right into telling you what you need to know about this movie. Um, the first uh, you need to know is the plot. Um, it follows Christine. She um, is up for a promotion and this woman comes in this older gypsy woman kind of comes in and telling her that the, the the bank is foreclosing on her house and she in order to kind of put herself in a better position to get the new promotion she um, denies the extension of this old gypsy woman's um, loan which um, doesn't she shouldn't have done that let's just say that and so she ends up getting a curse put on her by the gypsy woman and and over the course of the three days uh, that, that takes place in the movies she's like she is tormented by this demon spirit or, and it's just it's a lot of fun because there's a lot of good um, scare moments in this movie um, the cast is a great um, you got Allison Lohman who is playing Christine you got Justin Long who plays her boyfriend um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on who helps her along throughout the movie um, the, the the fortune teller um, I can't, I'm drawing a blank um, I think he's in inception I think that's who that is um, then who else is in the? Uh, you'll recognize. I like uh, the movies. I, I like horror movies because um, there's always those people that you will recognize from other movies, and but you'll never know their names, and that happens a lot. And it's been happening a lot in these few week, these few days that I have been doing this project. Um, what else is there? Um, the the scare and gore. Oh my god! The, um, for a PG thirteen, even though I do watch the unrated cut. Um, I could see this movie, it was originally PG-13, right? Yeah, okay, And but I always watch the unrated because there's a lot more blood and it's kind of a little bit more intense in some scenes, but um, for the uh, scare factor and the gore, there's really no gore in this movie, but there's um, some really cool scenes that take place with blood and the scare factor, and it's, there's, it's just gross. This movie is just um, gross more than anything um, because... Um, the gypsy woman, she's coughing up stuff into her little, um, hanger chiff, and every time Allison kind of, Loman's character kind of interacts with the gypsy woman, either through, um, being tormented by her ghost or, or the spirit, and it, it's always, um, gross as either dealing with, like, blood, uh, blood or worms and maggots, and, or just, um, there's this one scene where she, um, fights off the, the projection of this, gypsy woman in the shed or whatever and her eyeballs kind of pop out and land on her and it's just like oh my god that's funny and it's funny but it's also just gross and it's like oh god um there's also this scene early on in the movie where she's um at, it's just right after she had the curse put on her um it's on her she works in a bank so the bank is very two-toned collars it's just a bl bunch of black and grays um, with an with an accent of like wood paneling and stuff like that, or like wood finishing, like wood desk, and there's stuff like that. But when she starts to get a nosebleed, the the red just kind of just pops instantly, and it's a not it's just really cool like that. And um, what else is there? That you talk. Um, that's really about it. This movie is really fun to watch. Um, with the, uh, hold on, I'll hold off on that in a second. It is just a lot of fun. Um, uh, it's, what I do have to point out is the way this movie is shot. If you've ever seen any Sam Raimi's movies, like, even in Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man, he does this kind of hyper speed, um, um, action. And it's really awesome, and it really adds to the, this movie because, um, or even uh, Evil Dead, when the like the spirits are trying to break into the cabin, uh, 
or when she's being attacked or in drag me to hell when she's being attacked by the spirit um it is very hyper fast paced and but it's very intense and that's what makes this movie scary and it's because it's just like like that and it's really cool um what else is there that's really about it um i do recommend this movie highly it's one of my favorite movies to watch during the Halloween season. I know I do say that a lot because I like watching horror movies, but there's like four or five key movies that I do watch, and I count the Evil Dead movies as one. Uh, but there's this and there's Trick or Treat and a few others. Um, so uh, now onto my classification scale: one being run of the mill horror, two more than av- uh, two is best watched with the group, three is more than average horror. Um, four moves the horror genre forward and five being a horror classic. Uh, it's a five. It is a horror classic. It's Sam Raimi. It's great. It's, it's fast paced horror with some slow, uh, monotonous stuff like that. It's like, it's going to creep up in you. And then there's some jump scares, um, what else, which I hate by the way. And what else? It, it, it's, and there's some gross out humor and gross out, just gross out horror. So there's this movie has everything: good acting, good horror, good um, scare factor, and it's just all the way around a good horror movie. And it is a horror classic, I think. Um, it, you know, it is fairly new, but I think this is one of the best horror movies to come out in a long, long, long time. Um, so it's so that's really about it. Um, my name is Max James, and I'm gonna go geek out.